Hey everybody, what's up? It is Shrine Tutorials number two. Let's get into it. This one is the Bomb Shrine, and I'm gonna be honest, this shrine's pretty dangerous to get to. I mean, it is the Bomb Shrine, so just, just know that you might die if you're not careful. Um, we started, we ended off last episode on the tower. Um, you know how to get down from that video too, I think, probably. I don't know, that, that episode will also, or the tutorial will also be listed in the top right hand corner of the screen, so go check that out if you are interested and want to get to the first shrine. But anyway, this is the second shrine tutorial, and you should also go check out my playthrough of Breath of the Wild, which will also be in the top right hand corner of the screen. The newest episodes are better. But for this episode, what you need to do to get to the shrine, and the shrine isn't all that difficult to get to, just if you go in the wrong way, you're gonna die. So go around the back, like where I'm going, right off the cliff side of the Great Plateau, and it's quite simple. You can just access the shrine through here. If you decide to go from the front of the Eastern Abbey, that's what this is called, then you will probably get killed by guardians. Yeah, we're here. It's pretty simple. It's not exactly the most complicated to get to the shrine. So now that we're here, let's get into it. All right, like the other trial shrine, the bomb trial, uh, we need to actually put the rune on our Sheikah Slate. And this is a pretty simple process. You just come over here. We'll only be doing this for two more shrines after this. It will be Stasis and Cryonis. So yeah. So we we have remote bombs and you'll notice we actually have two. One of them is a cubic bomb and doesn't actually roll and the other one is a spherical bomb and rolls. So you can use that when you need to. Right now we're just gonna we're just gonna use the spherical bomb. So to throw it's R and then to detonate it's L. So next you can switch your cubic bombs here or over here, it doesn't matter. This is gonna be the chest of the shrine. You can drop with A, the button maps are always at the bottom. But yeah, we're gonna blow this up and then access the chest. It should be a traveler's claymore. And with this, uh, I don't know, it's just gonna be useful. We're gonna still use the cubic bombs over here. Set it down, pretty much just run. You'll notice that the bombs have a cooldown. This is always a thing until you get bombs plus, but then the cooldown is way too fast. Let's just put this bomb down and hop off. And now we're gonna blow it up when it hits the other side. That worked. Now let's wait for this platform. And we're already in the last room of the shrine. It's pretty quick, but they get more complicated. So first, I'm gonna come over to the left side. There's another chest. Uh, it's not something special. It's just one of like the gemstones. You should get it. And if later you have a lot of gemstones and wonder and are wondering if you should sell them, almost always. I mean, it depends what stage of the game you're in, but if you're in early game, probably sell them. If you're getting middle game, then don't. To be honest, if you have two or three divine beasts, you should probably start saving up, but otherwise, go for it. And if you've already got all of them, then look into getting the jewel, uh, oops, uh, look into getting jewelry at the, at Gerudo Town. So now we're gonna do what's on this, what's on the left side, and this mechanic is actually used a lot throughout the game. Putting the bomb into, like, a funnel, and shoot, and, like, shooting it out of a cannon, or really anything. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the actual shrine. Now, escaping the shrine is somewhat easy. You can go the way we went before, but there's actually an easier way that puts you kind of closer to where you want to be to get to the next shrine the stasis tri trial all right now you might be tempted to blow this rock wall up with bombs and you can blow it up but don't walk out just don't uh, if you have the dlc which is very good i probably recommend it so then the way i recommend getting out of here is just going to the left of the shrine you see the shrine there you can look on the mini map if you're confused run down to here hop up on this wall and just run up through this area. All right, now let me show you to where you, let me show you where you need to get to to actually know where you're going for the next shrine. So if you're playing in master mode, which if you're a beginner you probably shouldn't, but hey, you do you. Then there will be a Lionel here. Uh, be careful. Probably just go around the Bacoblin camp, or you can go up by the Temple of Time and around near this the shrine. This shrine will be the Stasis Shrine. Uh, looks like a really difficult journey, but it's not all that difficult. You just need to know what to do. So we're going to stop at this cabin, and this is probably going to be a good rest point. Now, if you're playing, then it's probably going to be nighttime, uh, like right at nighttime. In fact, you're probably going to be tempted to sleep. Well, you can rest at a campfire here, so good timing, I guess. Campfire, and the old man will be getting ready to, he'll be sitting by the campfire probably when you come here. And yeah, you can, you can take this stuff. The spicy peppers will be useful later on the Great Plateau. Uh, you can read his journal thing if you want. Uh, it's useful if you're trying to get the warm to bleh, uh, but I'm going to show you another way when we actually need it. So yeah, think of this series as a lot more of a tutorial from my normal one. Uh, we don't, I don't know if we have room for this pitchfork in our inventory. Oh, we do. In game, you should probably just sit at this campfire. Feel free to grab all this stuff, torches, I think. 
And now that I'm not going to grab one. So yeah, feel free to grab this stuff. It doesn't matter. You can see the old man's down here. And this is where we're going to end off for the episode. Uh, the old man should be there by the time you wake up in the morning. He chops trees. And this will be a useful story point, I guess, tutorial thing later in the game. By that, I mean next episode. So yeah, I will see you whenever I see you. It's probably going to be a lot longer than you expect. Thank you.